Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. I'm hoping that you'll see this vlog the day I'm filming it, which is Saturday. I did not vlog this entire week because your girl just did not have the best week because we're supposed to be off at clinicals, right? Well, on a hospital's end, there's just like been some mix up. Apparently we're in the system now, but like we're just waiting for this like process to get our badges, so yeah it's a little rough but it's fine like eventually we'll get to go it's just like when a date is set it's just like come on man and then um as you guys know i'm getting my dog on monday i swear everything's gonna happen on monday and i'm gonna be like excited and nervous and then like crazy on monday i'm definitely vlogging on monday because i'm getting i'm picking up my dog so far, I just wanna catch you guys up on everything. Not only am I like waiting to go to clinicals, but I'm picking up my dog and the previous owners really wanted me to get her like sooner. But like on our end, I think it was just a, a communication problem, but I'm like, it, we can't like take the dog earlier because we've already set a date in our heads, but they didn't really like set a date. They were just more so looking at like the dog's condition. So I don't know. Anyway, it worked out. I'm getting her on Monday. Yeah, and like all this stuff like happened on one specific day. When I say all this stuff, the dog being requested to be picked up like earlier than the date happened. And then like three of our classmates, okay, which I'm really happy for them. Um, but they basically got to get their badges from this hospital and it's just like kind of sucks because like the rest of the class didn't and then some of us like well more than half the class isn't in the system and that's what the people on the phone said i don't know if this is making any sense but i'm just explaining so back to what i was saying um basically last week was just like kind of like i don't know two things that i was talking to my mom and my friend about this but like two things that i was supposed to be excited about and like and thought that they would happen like smoothly which getting the dog should happen smoothly but i'm just saying that like the process is leading up to these things that should be like you know fun happy positive like cause me intense stress and yeah but you know what it's the weekend now that week's over and on Monday I'm gonna pick up my dog and hopefully I'll get a badge on Monday as well so yeah um, that's the little update from what happened this week and everything I did end up going because this time will be my fourth time at cycle bar this week which is really good because um, like working out just like helps with like stress and angst and everything so basically like I hit my goal of going four times a week and I want to get my money's worth with Cycle Bar obviously as you guys know and I know all these changes are coming up so like I don't know how often I will get to go so that's why I like push to go like more a little bit more than I normally go which is typically like three times a week so I'm going to Cycle Bar now it's like a hot girl summer explicit ride so I'm excited and it'll be good then I'm going to Petco to shop for some last minute things for my dog. I need the food, obviously. I need the um, crate cover because we are going to crate her when we're gone because like we don't know this dog, you know? So like we can't have her getting into everything. It'll just be like too much. So basically we're gonna crate her and then we're gonna see like how she does and everything um, like when we're gone. And then we'll start like leaving her out like a little bit and then like see if anything's completely destroyed or whatever so i think it'll be fine though she seems like a really calm dog and like good yeah i have to do that and then i have to get a little gift card i just wanted to get um my friend like a little something for her birthday because um she invited me to like this little birthday dinner which is nice we're going to cheesecake factory so i'm gonna get her something and then tonight is the cheesecake factory yeah, we have a pretty full day ahead of us. Okay, so my hair is a little crazy because I took it out of my like high bun that I put it in. Got the iced coffee, my good friend London. She got me a little gift card just like 
to say hey and it was like so nice so thank you London if you watch this video but I am going to head to PetSmart now um, to pick up the dog stuff and hopefully I can find everything um, I need basically the cover for the uh, crate then I need the food obviously because what am I gonna feed her and then um, I'm gonna get a squeaky I'm gonna get a couple new toys and um, a brush and shampoo those are like the things that I really need to get so I'll be ready for her and then on Sunday my parents are gonna work on our house um, and get that all ready. We're gonna set up the crate and then we'll be ready to get her. All right, we made it at this Petco. This is a different Petco, but it'll be fine. Um, I wanted one like closer in location. They use science diet for the food. Oh, this is kind of nice. Oh, doggy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. You guys don't understand. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get her outfits. I hope she likes it because I won't be dressing her up. Um, okay, I need to like find where the food is. All right, so found the blackout cover. Um, we got the large, so this is the one we want. Oh my gosh, it's like $50. Wait, why is that 30? Oh, it's probably because of the size. Crap. Yo, dogs are not cheap. I just got out of Petco. Pets are like kind of expensive, not gonna lie. I hope this dog thing works out. I hope it's as like magical as I thought it would be. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys. I had to carry all this stuff out like by myself without any bags because apparently they like charge for bags and I'm not gonna pay to have a bag. Like I will put it in my purse. I told the lady, I'm like, okay, like you know I paid for these. Like I'm gonna put them in here. Um, I have the receipt cause you just gave it to me. But yeah, so. I do have my reusable bags, but like that's for Publix and since I was going into that like a pet store like I didn't think that that would be the case like that I would have to bring those in but luckily to carry them into the house like I have reusable bags so I can just use those but starting off I got a couple toys because I have like one rope toy but I thought like she might like like soft toys plushies like this. If she destroys it, it's fine. It was like 10 bucks. Um, and then this one's a squeaker toy. I don't know. She, I mean, this dog kind of acts old, so I don't know how much toy she would want, but like, we'll find out. Leading on to not knowing like this dog at all, I got some puppy pads because like, I just don't know this dog. So like, yes, she's potty trained, but like, if I leave, what if she has to go to the bathroom? Like I just felt the need to get these as a like, just in case. There's not a lot in this batch, so it's totally fine. It's more just for precaution. Then this is the main reason why I went to Petco today to get a blackout um, crate cover. I mean, I know I could just put like towels and stuff, but like that just looks not cool and I don't know I just don't like the look of that so we wanted to like have something to actually like fit the crate and like look nice as well of course she has to eat so like I got the same food that her owners have and like are feeding her and then I got this de shedding pro style brush um, because she needs to be brushed like every other day or I don't know some exorbitant amount that I probably won't adhere to because like I don't have the time for that I'll be tired I have like schoolwork but it's fine um at least I'll have this tool and what got me to buy this one was ideal for daily slash weekly shed control so that's the reason why I ended up going with this one I guess packaging does work but now I'm gonna head over to Target to get this like dog shampoo that like my friend uses on her dogs because I don't want to have an allergic reaction to this dog. I don't know. So I'm like thinking if I wash her with the same shampoo, it might be better for me. I don't know. Cause I didn't like have any reaction to her dogs and she had a German shepherd and like a shorter haired dog. I'm like forgetting the breed off the top of my head, but I'm going to go head to target and get that. And then I'm going to head home. All right, so got the dog shampoo. It was the last one on the shelf, which I'm like really lucky. Maybe this is a sign it's all gonna work out. Okay, so luckily no one's in this aisle. 
I'm gonna smell it real quick. Oh, can't smell it because it's like sealed. So I'm not having the best hair day. This side turned out like a little bit better than this side. I'm gonna be kind of glad when my bangs grow out like to like my chin because then I could actually like curl. I don't know, they're still like kind of short, but I am pretty much all ready for the dinner at um, Cheesecake Factory. I went like casual nice, cause yeah, I don't know. But I'll show you guys the full body outfit. I'm just so frustrated with my hair, it's dirty. I was gonna wash it, but then I was like, no, because I might go to the pool tomorrow with my school friends. I have, it's still like tentative. So I was like, no, either way, I could just wash it tomorrow. And I thought I could just like style my bangs, but they're not really like, they're okay. And I know it looks a little bit like too much right now, but it'll fade. It'll lose its curl pretty fast because it's raining outside anyway. So I don't really even know why I'm trying, but I'm trying to like make the top look like less oily in a sense. Um, I could do one of those like slick back ponytails, but like I like my hair down. Like I like it like this and I'm keeping it straight cause I don't want to put heat on it cause I'm just going to wash it tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? So this is how it's going to be and it's fine. My hair straight. I like it straight because it's longer. So it's all right. But it's rare that I have like such a bad hair day. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the outfit. My top is from Aritzia. My jeans are just Levi's. This belt, I think was from Forever 21. And then my shoes, I don't know. I've had these for forever. I kind of forgot where I got them, <laughs> to be honest. But this is the outfit. And it's like, I don't know. It's just something I threw together. Also too, the one reason why I hate like wearing jeans is because like this, it doesn't like keep you in like that. It like, I don't know, especially when you sit like this puffs out. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of jeans anymore. Okay, so foggy lens, cause it's super humid. It was like raining and that's why the traffic was so crazy. But we're here at the Cheesecake Factory now. They're gonna be a little bit late. Again, sorry for this like camera. Um, they're gonna be a little bit late so i'm gonna go in check in hopefully everything's fine and they'll still take us even though we're late so um fingers crossed everything works out i love the cheesecake factory i'm gonna be totally honest with you the hair is not looking good at all but got checked in everything's good because i have to prepare the table um so she was like oh there's gonna be a wait anyway so i let the group know and everything's gonna be fine and Damn, my hair looks so bad. Birthday girl, Anna! Look how pretty she looks! <laughs> Had to include you in the vlog. <laughs> After we sang um, happy birthday to Anna, we all got our little desserts here. <laughs> got the Oreo, look how giant that Oreo is. Okay, so my friend was like, oh, we should go to the Ice Bar Orlando. Um, so that's where we are, we're at International Drive and I'm walking there now. I must have gone the wrong way from the parking garage. It's like further down International Drive. So walking there now, got a good parking spot. I don't know, I'm not too familiar with International Drive because I never really like come up here. So yeah, it's kind of weird, but it's fine. I've been here before, so at least I knew where to park. Okay, so we made it to Ice Bar, found it. It's right next to the iFly place. There's Anna! Apparently they like give you jackets and stuff because it's like all frozen inside there, which is like super cool. Okay, so slight change of plans. There was like, it was kind of expensive for the jackets and stuff for Ice Bar Orlando. So we made our way to Hampton Social. This place is so cute and we're gonna get, you know, just a little drink to end the night. And
and the waiter brought us these little rosé shots, which is so nice. I'm having some of my school friends over to our house to have a pool day, and I don't really think, maybe I'll get some clips in and put um, at the end of the video of like us making the Moscow mules, uh, because we have our Moscow mule cups right up here. Um, yeah, those are actually from one of my other friends I saw yesterday, which is cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna close it off here and add whatever footage I end up getting after this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. And here's the rest of whatever footage I get. <laughs> All right, so Kyra is gonna make some mules. She actually has this really good um, little recipe. So what's the first step, Kyra? Uh, well, first step is your vodka. <laughs> Most important part. Wait, should I put ice in the? No, never mind. It's we'll okay. Do we'll it we'll do it after. Um, can you hand me the yeah. mules in there? She has this mule. Is this one? Yeah, I got it from St. Augustine. Oh, that's that's what you're saying <laughs> that like was in your uh, room, right? Yeah. It's been waiting to be used. Yeah, it's actually Thomas's, uh, but then we broke up, and he's actually asked for it twice. And you're like, no. But then we blocked each other, and I was like, well, I have no intention of seeing you again, and this is gonna go to waste. So I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna use it. His, he's never gonna see this, right? And if he does, oh, fuck wow. him <laughs> and fuck, fuck them kids. Fuck you and fuck them kids. <laughs> I love how you're like, he's never gonna see this, right? Watch, she's like my number one fan or something that watches all my videos. Oh my god, I would cry. I would like laugh hysterically, but no, for real. I, he's stupid for letting you go. Yeah. So it kind of, he kind of deserves it. It is. L O L. These are actually really good. Thanks. I just got out of school and we are going to go pick up my dog. Um, basically, my friend Kyra is going to come with me so I don't have to go alone, which is good. But first, we need to go to a place where she's dog sitting and let out the dogs she's responsible for right now so they can go to the bathroom. We had to leave school early because there was like these fumes from like glue and paint. So basically, we are going to um, the place where she has to let out the dog so they can go to the bathroom and then we're gonna go head over to get my dog. I just wanted to start this and now we're getting on the highway so I'm gonna end this clip. All right y'all, so I've secured the dog. We'll head west there. toward Moss Hire Circle. We're on our way. In 1,000 feet at the traffic. Piper. Look at you, you're the best doggy ever. You're the best doggy ever. Okay, so me and my dog are going to Wolfgang Bakery in celebration. So the collar I got her does not fit, so I need to like get one. Luckily, my friend Kyra let me use this green one. Um, but as far as like, you know, fitting her and everyday use, I obviously need a new one. So I'm gonna go find that. And then I really want to get her groomed. Maybe they could at least give her a bath. I don't know, but like, there's this like product on her. It, it seems like dry shampoo almost for like dogs. I don't know what it is. It seems, it feels like what I use for my hair. So yeah, I am going to see what they can do. If not, it's not the end of the world, but I just need to keep washing my hands a lot. Um, but she overall is a really good dog. She had her little accident inside. She's just exploring our house and everything. Uh, but yeah, you want to say anything girl? Oh, you're such a good girl. Pardon my dog talk. I'm gonna be completely honest. I got a new leash, so we got this rope style leash because I really like them. I think they're cute. It is so hard to remember to vlog and update you guys on like what's actually going down with uh, Piper, which is her name, um, because all of my attention is on her and I'm like, I can't even remember to vlog because like, I'm in the moment with her, so I know this vlog kind of sucks, but yeah, I don't know. I will update you guys once she's like used to our house and like used to everything. Um, it's just kind of hard and difficult to, you know, like get her comfortable and like make sure I'm doing everything I can and then also vlog. Like it's just like kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie, um, but she's a good girl. She is so. 
So I just gave Piper a bath and this is what my floors look like. And then in here, she's a shaking. She's a shaking. Oh my goodness, but I hope, hopefully my hives will go down though. So I'm having dinner. She is just waiting for me to drop something, man.